Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to solve a trig equation. And the example I've picked now is sine of an angle, theta, equals a negative number, minus 0.5. And the method I'm going to use is called the quadrant method. Now, in an earlier tutorial, I discussed how the trig ratios um, varied uh, their sign that was uh, between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. We found that if we took the sine, cos or tan of any angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees then they were all positive. So I'll mark that in as all positive. Then if we took the sine or cos or tan of any angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees we found that only sine was positive. And when we repeated this for any angle between 180 to 270 degrees, the only trig ratio that was positive was the tangent ratio, or tan for short. Tan was positive. And from 270 to 360 degrees, we found that only the cosine ratio, cos for short, was positive. Okay, now we can use this kind of diagram to help us solve in this case, the sine of an angle equals a negative number. So where is sine negative? Sine is negative in this quadrant, at the third quadrant as we call it, and the fourth quadrant. Because sine is positive in the first and the second quadrants, it's going to be negative in the third and fourth quadrants. So what I'll do is I'll just rub out those, okay, and what we always do in questions like that is to mark two lines, one in this quadrant, okay, marking this angle always to the horizontal line, and then follow this with marking in another line in the third quadrant, okay, where sine is negative, and make sure this line is equally inclined to this horizontal line as this line was. So these two angles should be the same size. Okay, let me just rub this out, okay, because that'll be in the way in a minute, okay. So what we need to do now is find our values of theta. And in any question like this, you're going to be given a range of values for theta. And one of the common ranges for solving this kind of equation is to solve it for theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. And if that were the case, okay, what I do is I always start from this line here, the 0 degrees line, and I turn in a anticlockwise direction, turning first of all to the first blue line here. So start from here and I turn round in this direction. And I mark in that this is a possible theta. In fact, I mark in the letter that I use here. So if this was an X, I mark this in as an X. I also need another value of theta because I've now got to turn to this second blue line. So I start from here and I turn in an anti-clockwise direction all the way around until I get to that blue line and mark in that that's another theta. Okay? Now I've got to establish what these thetas are and how I do that is to take the inverse sine of minus 0.5. So therefore theta equals the inverse sine okay, of minus 0.5. Now if you do this on a calculator what you get is the angle of minus 30 degrees. Okay. Now minus 30 degrees might strike you as being a bit strange. Minus 30 degrees relates, because of the minus, relates to an angle turning not in the anticlockwise sense. Remember this angle up here was 90, then 180, 270 and back to 360. But a minus angle indicates that we're turning in the clockwise direction because turning down to here would be minus 90 degrees, then minus 180, minus 270, minus 360. So a turn of minus 30 degrees 
relates to this angle in here. So I'm going to mark in the magnitude of this angle. Even though it says minus 30 degrees, I'm going to mark its size in only as being 30 degrees. And because I've marked this blue one here as 30 degrees, and this one is exactly the same, then this little one in here must also be 30 degrees. So we'll just pop it in there. Okay? Now, these 30 degrees that I've marked in here help us to establish the red angle. The red angle will be a turn of 180 degrees plus a further 30 degrees more. So that's going to give us an angle of 210 degrees. So I'll mark that in as 210 degrees. And then as for the green one, turning round here, OK, we're not going the full way round of 360 degrees, but we're cutting it short by 30 degrees. So that's obviously going to be a turn of 360 minus the 30 degrees, a turn of 330 degrees. So I'll mark that in there. So for this given range, we find that the minus 30 degrees is out of range, but the only two that are in range are the 210 degrees and the 330 degrees. So these two angles would be the solutions to this equation in this given range. But when you get questions like this, you most probably, or well, say most probably, you might find that you don't get this range, you might get another range. And a common range that you could find yourself getting is for theta between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. And if this were the case, we would draw exactly the same quadrant diagram. I'll take you through it again. Mark in the naught degrees. Ask yourself where sine is negative, And sine is negative in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So we draw our two lines equally inclined to the horizontal line. Mark those two angles as being the same. OK. And then we need to decide what values of theta fall in this range. Now, turning in this direction would be outside this range, because if I turn to this blue line down here, it would go beyond the 90, beyond the 180, and then beyond the 180, that would be out of range. So what have I got to do? Well, I can turn in the clockwise direction, because these would be negative angles. I can start from here and turn onto that one, that would be a turn of less than minus 90 degrees. I can go back to here and turn again in this direction through the minus 90 over to here. Mark that in as theta. This one would be a turn of less than minus 180 degrees. So I've got to establish what these are. Well, we saw earlier that when we did the inverse sine of minus 0.5, Let's just mark that in, the inverse sine of minus 0.5. The angle that comes up on the calculator is minus 30 degrees. And I pointed out that that meant that this angle in here was the 30 degrees. We're turning in the negative sense. So this angle in here had a magnitude of 30 degrees. So it meant that this angle here must be the minus 30 degrees. Now these two were the same size, so I'll mark that one in there as 30 degrees. And we can use that to help us establish the green angle. Because I'm turning in a negative sense, to turn all the way around would be minus 180, but I'm short by 30 degrees. So 180 take away 30 is 150 degrees. But remember, I'm turning in this negative sense, so the other angle, the green angle, will be a turn of minus 150 degrees. So these would be the two answers for theta in this range here, from minus 180 to 180.